So now let's see how we can work with different selection options inside of Adobe Fresco. So for that, I'm just going to make a selection right here, just like this by using the brush selection tool right here. And then once we do that, you can see that there's various options right here. There's transform, that's the first tool. But if I were to transform this out, I can move this around, I can resize as you can see. But if I were to press done, it is there on the same layer, which is uh, normally not very, very uh, effective. So I'm just going to undo that, uh, undo that out right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer out of this selection. So for that, you while the selection is still on, you have to go onto the layer, right click on it to get the option call duplicate selection, just like this. You can also cut the selection right here or copy the selection. But if I were to do duplicate selection, you can see that now another layer out of the selection has been made just like that. So I can just continue out and that is on the separate layer. Let me just undo this out and select the other option. You can copy the selection so that does not make up any new layer. So what I can do is I can go to other document and paste it out. So I can go over here just like that and if I were to do paste selection, now I can paste this out in another new document as well. I'm just going to press Ctrl Z again. And the third option we have is cut selection. So what that does is it cuts out the selection. I can go on to a new layer and paste the selection out there just like this. So now it's a cut just like that. So that is how you three selections actually work out just like that. So other options that we have is to uh, erase, transform, this is something we looked at already. The other option is masking. So masking in itself is uh, one of a powerful tool, which we're going to see in further lesson. And this is what can be directly done by selection tool as well. So I'm just going to undo that out and see the other option. Here in more, I have an option to hide the selection. That means only the selection gets hidden, the selection is still there. So you want to see uh, the entire artboard for some reason without uh, having the selection lines, then you just, just hide the selection. You can sew the selection back and it comes back just like that. Let us go to more again. And the other option we have is to transform the selection right here. So if you were to transform, uh, you see that you get the handles. You can move around the selection, but that does not affect the pixels in the layer. So what I can, I can rotate it, I can resize it just like that to reposition the selection according to what I want. So let me just press OK just like that and go to more again. The other option I have is to invert the selection means now uh, you can see that this acts as a whole. Everything else is a selection just like that. So if I were to mask it, it masks it out like this. So let me just redo that out just like that. And what I can do is invert it again. The other option I have is to uh, have different type of selection display. So right now it's marching ends, but if I were to go to selection overlay, then you have an overlay. So whatever will be kept on the selection will not have these uh, various lines. So I can go around onto the selection tool right here and draw around and this is how it looks. If I were to invert out the selection, then you'll see it like this. This is more clear on how it actually looks like. So you can go for marching ants right here, or you can go for the selection overlay. So selection overlay is more clear, but it really looks uh, distracting sometimes. So now over here, the bottom most portion says anti-alias. So I'm just going to go to marching ants for this one. I'm going to deselect it out by pressing control D and I'm going to zoom in now. So let us just zoom in out, okay. Uh, over here, I'm just going to add in a value, let's say for example, 400 and press enter. So I can see right here that all of it is made up of pixels. If I were to go over here and make a selection, get the transform and move it aside, you can see that it's quite jagged. Sometimes what you want is you don't want a very jagged lines like this, but what you want is you want it to be smooth. So for that, anti-aliasing can be turned on. So let me just undo this out, go on to more and turn on anti-aliasing. Once I do that and go to transform, so I'm just going to go to transform, move that back. You can see that it is much more softer. To see the difference, let's just do this. Let's create another selection right here. So I'm just going to create another selection uh, onto the side. Let me just deselect it out and select it out on this side. And over here for this, I'm going to turn off the anti-aliasing. And then what I'm going to do is use the transform, move it back, and you can see that this is sharper compared to this one right here. 
So usually I um, leave anti-aliasing always on because usually I do want a very uh, smooth edges just like that because it's much more easier on the eyes. So that is how you can use the selection tool options inside of Adobe Fresco. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.